Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is the SEMAS Digital Learning Platform. We appreciate you all for your continuous support towards our different products. Now, in this period when teachers are preparing learners for PLE, SEMAS brings to you senior facilitators from different sectors to share knowledge with you teachers and give you tips on how best you can prepare your learners for PLE. And today, we are having Mr. Simon Idoloi. He's a senior facilitator and well-experienced teacher of science. He is going to be giving you the difference between teaching, following the curriculum, and preparing learners for PLE. He is also going to be giving you the better way of assessing learners and many others. Please enjoy. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Madam, uh, for the intro and for the issues that you have put forward. My name is Simon Idoloi. I'm a teacher of uh, science, what we know as integrated science. And I'm here uh, to answer some of the issues that you've raised on how we can help our teachers, our very good teachers out there who are viewing uh, these clips to prepare uh, their learners, the candidates of this year uh, for the national exams, which is primary living examination. It is very critical that uh, we get to understand that there's a difference between teaching the content that has been stipulated in the curriculum, in our syllabus, uh, to the learners and preparing them for final touches in preparation for the national exams. You might find actually that there are teachers who are very good at teaching the content. They are able to tell really children how things are built up, they are able to prepare, but then when it becomes the last part when they are done with the syllabus, how do they sit down to look at how these candidates can be taken through uh, the revision and assessments as they are waiting for their final exams. So, throughout our discussions, we are going to cover quite a number of topics that will enable us sit down and prepare well our candidates for this examination. One of the issues that we are going to address during this period should be how do we get prepared to prepare the candidates because that is also very critical. You may find that you're done with the syllabus, yes, but then you yourself, the teacher, are you ready to prepare the candidates? That is one area that we are going to look at. The other issue is, how then do we revise? How do we revise after we have prepared ourselves to prepare the candidates? How do we revise? From there, we are going to look at how we are going to use the curriculum for purposes of revision. And this revision is going to cover basically the lower classwork concepts. Remember, the student have forgotten what they learned in primary four, what they learned in primary five, even what they learned last year. Remember, they came from COVID, and because of that, things have evaporated. So how are we going to use the existing curricula in order to prepare these learners for PLE? Another area that we're going to look at, definitely after we have revised, is going to be assessment. How do we assess? These candidates, are we going to give them exams every day? Are we going to pile them with the different papers from different sources? We must be planning how many assessments and how do we give these assessments to the candidates. That is also a very critical area that we need to look into. Not everything that you see, not every paper you find along the road is good enough to be given to the candidates. You get it? We need to plan uh, for these assessments so that they become meaningful. Away from that, you also get to realize that, yes, when they do the papers, we need to mark. How do we mark? There's a difference between awarding ticks or symbols of marking and meaningful marking. We're going to see which tips we can employ during the marking of examination so that we can become productive when we are marking. That is not enough. We are also going to look at correction management. 
you have given the candidates a paper they have done you've marked how do we correct it because how better we prepare ourselves for the corrections that will be meaningful in class that's when they will be learning because remember during the corrections there will be uh, uh, areas which were commonly failed there will be areas of controversy you will need to make the student unlearn certain concepts that they could have been taught and they were not matching with the current content. So you, you have to get prepared. You don't just walk into the classroom and begin throwing. Today we are learn, doing corrections number one, number two, number 55. That's not how it works. We have to get prepared. And then not very far from the corrections is how do we manage the discipline of our own selves and the discipline of the children towards PLE. That is also a very critical area that uh, we need to prepare ourselves very well because issues of discipline are very key at this moment in time. If we followed through all this from the time we prepare ourselves and have all these stages well handled, I promise you science will not be a very difficult subject. You will rejoice with us when it comes to January when results are released. We want to continue thanking you for being a very good audience and for subscribing to SEMAS always. We had done SEMAS for the children. Now this particular episode is for the teachers. See you in the next video. Thank you so much for following. That was Mr. Simon Idoloi. And we still have more coming episodes. Just click on next and follow the process. Only here at SEMAS. Thank you.